All right, guys. So I've been focusing a lot of uh, retro devices. I've been doing a lot of PS Vita videos, um, but I do also have the new handhelds. Um, and right here, I have the new Steam Deck OLED. Um, I want to go ahead and just go over um, one of my favorite, um, I guess you can say, emulators, which is the Emu Deck um, emulator. Um, it's almost like a retro arc. It's an all-in-one emulator for your devices, whether it's, you know, your Steam Deck or uh, a Windows handheld that you have. Today, we're going to be going over the Steam Deck OLED and the Legion Go. All right. So if you own a Steam Deck, you pretty much know where you're at right now. We would have to navigate into the power and switch to desktop. Okay. Now that you're at your desktop, you want to go ahead and navigate to emudeck.com. Once you're there, you're going to go ahead and click download and in downloads, you're going to head, go ahead and click steam OS. Once you click steam OS, then you're going to get a download that looks like this emu deck desktop. You'll click it. You'll go through all the prompts, very seamless, very easy to use. You'll be able to install. One of the prompts is going to be, where do you want your emulator folders or your emulation folder? I put my emulation folder in my SD card on the uh, Steam Deck OLED. As you can see, there's an emulation folder right here. So I downloaded some ROMs already, which are right here in these folders. And I'm going to go ahead and put them into the emulation folder. Also, make sure you get the BIOS. If you Google BIOS packs, uh, you'll be able to see all the, all the BIOS from all the different systems. First, let's look for a Dreamcast. All right, Dreamcast right here. Go ahead and throw this. Then we'll go to Game Boy Advance. Uh, it's uh, GBA, Game Boy Advance. You throw that in there. Then I'll go to GameCube, GC. So don't get confused. Uh, this GC folder and this folder are pretty much the same. As you see, you go to GC and you go to GameCube, it's the same folder. Then N64. PS1. Does it take it from PSX? I believe it's PSX. And then PSP. Obviously it goes in PSP. Oh, whoa. Okay. Cut. So while I was getting this PSP game, I also went and got the, the bio packages. And I'll have that in the description below how to put the bios so in bios all you got to do is take all the bios from in here just throw them in there both here and just overwrite apply to all right into and we can go ahead and check um once you open emu deck you can go into bios checker and then this will let you know what bios we do have and what bios we're missing so as you can see, as soon as I put all the BIOS in the folder, it's telling me I got all the correct BIOS. After you put your games in the folder like I did, you want to go ahead and uh, click on Steam ROM Manager. Click Yes. This is going to close your Steam, and it's going to bring up this window right here. Once you click on Steam ROM Manager, you want to go ahead and click Preview, and then Parse. So parse sir, Parse sir, Parse sir, sir, sir. Once you see all your games there, you want to go ahead and click parse again, just to triple check. It'll say all available images were added. And then you want to go ahead and click on save to steam on the top, right? You'll see done, uh, adding entries and then you'll close it. Awesome. And if you did it correctly, you'll see actually all of your games being categorized here on your steam. So you can see Pokemon, you can see Mario 64, you can see the PSP and you'll see everything right here. The amazing thing about having emu deck on your steam deck, uh, especially the OLED one also is the fact that it puts them into a collection and you can literally just go through them and just, as soon as you launch your steam deck, you could just pick one and literally just have it run and then just click on play. I already did this one. So let's do Mario 64 for the N64 click play. Boom. If you constantly don't want to go to steam and launch your games, what you could do is open up your steam and in the library, you're going to go ahead and right click emulation DE and add a shortcut to your desktop. It's already right here. And then you don't have to touch steam. All you have to do is just click on emulation station 
and it'll pretty much open up all of your emulators right here on desktop mode and it'll read what games you already have and if we want to go ahead and launch it let me move the camera it'll look something like this So that's it for the Steam Deck side of things. Let's go ahead and jump into the Windows side into uh, the Legion Go. All right. So now that we're on the Legion Go, I uh, just want to let you know that the Legion Go is a whole other animal. So I already set up my Emu Deck, but you would go into emudeck.com slash download. Go ahead and click on download, and then you'll get a Windows beta. Note, it'll let you download the Windows beta. It'll let you install the, the entire thing but you do have to be a patreon to be able to get access to the windows beta this is the emu deck patreon so if you subscribe to their patreon you'll be able to have functionality of the windows beta so i am a patreon member so i'll show you what this looks like it tells you all the emulators you have access to just like in the steam deck you have the steam deck manager so it looks exactly like it would look on the steam deck you just make sure you pick which you which emulators you have or what you like and click add games Click on parse, it'll take you here. So I already have a couple of games in the Legion Go. You go ahead, click refresh. And then save to Steam. So you click where you have your emulation. I have mine in W. And these are all the devices that I guess you can say are natively supported right now. Uh, you have the Legion Go, the ROG Ally, and every other handheld on top but you can also do if you don't see yours here you can also do windows handhelds right here or a windows pc so once you have everything set up and you have everything installed i usually don't like going through steam and actually you can have your steam closed for this um you'll go into windows and look for emulation you'll right click on this open file location it'll give you all of the emulators i guess you can say shortcut and then you can go ahead and send this to your uh, desktop. Send to desktop. I already did it. And you'll have this emulation icon right here. So you'll click on it. I have to update, so I'll click cancel for now. And then you go ahead and go through. Again, it has all of your games here. Let's go ahead and click on PS2. And let's go to NFO Streets. And boom, you can start yes. playing your favorite. Jesus. All right. I actually have a safe slate so I can go ahead and load up my slate. Take you right into the game and it works flawlessly. So that's pretty much it. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Uh, just FYI, all of the uh, links of where I get my ROMs, the Emudeck website, their Patreon, all of that will be on the video description, so just make sure you check that.